Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. Also here we had that lower low, yeah, we um, fulfilled all the requirements to end this current correction down. So we're going to take a look at that in a minute. Um, overall, where do we come from? A few different options here. I'm not going to take you through all of them. I did that in previous videos. Also, it will most likely confuse you. At the moment, I'm following this way that we did a wave one and two down here. We then moved up in a three, which peaked at around 1670, then came down in a four. And here's where the options are now splitting up. Um, at the moment, I would go with the scenario that this here was the um, wave five, basically, and that we completed with this high. And we missed by $20, unfortunately, my target area, which annoys me, but happens um, that with this high, we basically um, finished off this impulse and that we are now in a correction, in an A, B, C correction. That is for me the most likely scenario. There's one more possible, well, there's another possibility quickly um, that this year was the one, this was the two, this was the three, this was the four, and this was already the five. And that we've already done of that wave two correction a wave A, an overshooting wave B, which happens, but it's rare. Therefore, I am not counting this as my primary expectation. And then this was already the C or the wave C is still unfolding. And from here, we would go up in an impulse higher. Possible for me, not yet likely, especially as we haven't hit the target area here yet. Um, I might consider that if we if we touch that at 1440 now or go into it. Uh, and the other probably least likely option for me is that we had a wave one here, a wave two here. This was a wave three, yeah, a very long one. Again, a bit too long, therefore unlikely. That this is a wave four, possible, yeah, possible. I don't want to discount it completely, but also in this scenario, we would now expect the move up. So this is quite similar to the one I showed you before. Um, so unfortunately, due to the structure and this, the characteristic of this last wave here, um, we have a little bit of a, um, a variety of different options, but I chose my primary one, which is this one, yeah, that I just showed you. One, two, three, four, five. And now A, B is coming up now probably, and then the C down. Well, not that far, ideally in this area here, between 1230 and 1440, but we'll get there. Okay, so if we now go into the, the lower level wave count here, we can see that from the high at around $2,030, we came down in a wave one, two, three. This was the wave four. I told you here that we are going to get rejected, ideally in this reversal area. That was another area of trade or reversal that um, worked out very nicely. Yeah, very nicely. And that from here we can now expect, uh, we could expect a five wave move down. Fair enough. Uh, it was Powell who maybe triggered it but and you know that's always the the comment that i hear that you know it was powell no it wasn't powell maybe he accelerated it but i told you already before that powell speech yesterday that look at the two four line if we break below the two four line it is a strong indication that the move down is already unfolding because we could already count the abc complete in the wave c we could count five waves complete indicating the correction of the wave four was finished. And then we saw already us breaking below the two four line and we were coming down already. And then all that Powell speech did, all the volatility on the day, it led to a retest from below of that thingy and it just unfolded how it was supposed to unfold. The most likely option was here a move down. This could be counted as a bear flag. This could be counted as a correction, as an ABC. Fair enough, it was not 100% probability down, of course not. I gave you also the level that had we broken the 1740 level, we probably would have moved into a different scenario, but this was the most likely outcome and it worked out. Yeah, it's all about probabilities. You can only pro move in, in this space by looking at probabilities. Um, okay, we then moved down uh, one, two, Three. This was where I made my last video yesterday. I told you we could now be going into a wave four correction, even though that's a very weak one, but probably a small triangle here. Bit too weak for me, but yeah, and that is why I'm still struggling here to say that the wave five is already in. Um, 
we need to keep the options open at the moment. I think if we go above now, if we go above 50 and 70, we could make the case that the low was in here above this way for high. But I'm struggling to say this was already the three and this the four because it was quite a weak move. So I'd actually think this is also possible that we say, okay, this was the three, the way four is now unfolding and the way five down is still coming, especially as we haven't touched the 1465 level that I gave you. Now we missed it by $6, that's not a lot. Um, but um, it, there, there is still a bit of space to the downside. I gave you in the previous video the area between 1440 and 1465, um, where I would ideally see that correction. And so here at the moment, I'm a bit unsure. Therefore, we need that confirmation, as I said, above that 1570 level. That would be a, if we move above that level, I think we can say that that is the earliest, let's say that is the earliest evidence that this correction is finished and that we are going higher in what I would say is a where wave B. Um, the next best move would be a move above this wave one low. That would then invalidate, completely invalidate the bearish option here as it is on the chart. That would be a move above 1620. And then we can move higher and the chart will need to move above all these resistance levels and would then ideally move into this area between 1820 and 1920. That is how I see it at the moment. That area might move a bit if the wave five gets lower or whatever, but you know, I will always make you aware. Okay, and that's my update about Ethereum. So hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.